Hey guys, welcome to Predator Gaming's training room. Today we'll be talking about bot lane leads and how to use them effectively. Let's get started. So how do you define a bot lane lead? There are multiple times where bot lane can have a lead, but for clarity in this video, we're going to define bot lane leads as breaking the bot lane tower first before your opponents. Once you break your bot lane tower first, you can go to bot lane, mid lane, or top lane. The following video will be talking about all three of these options and the pros of cons of going to each. The first thing we're going to be talking about is staying bot lane. Staying bot lane is the most standard thing to do if dragon is still up. Usually what happens is if you're not able to take dragon when you break bot lane tower, you still have control of bot side. The enemy team can't do much about it, so you're able to go back and take dragon for free before resetting and going over to the top side of the map. As the enemy team, how do you counter this bot lane rotation? In most situations, the only way you can beat this bot lane rotation is if you have a teleport advantage or your top laner gets there ahead of their top laner. The bot lane rotation is the least counterable because they already have control of the bot lane and they already won bot lane. There are situations where the dragon isn't as important. For example, if it's a cloud dragon and you don't think dragon is very effective or effectively used by your team, you could skip it to be able to accelerate your pace in the side lanes to be able to put extra pressure onto the enemy team. However, usually dragon is a free objective and allows you to be able to cleanly rotate and clean up all the loose ends on one side of the map before rotating to the other. So when do you rotate mid lane? You rotate mid lane in situations where the enemy team doesn't have a wave clear champion middle. Champions such as Fizz and Kassin really struggle against multiple champions in their lane and can't do anything against them. Alternatively, you rotate mid lane if you have a split push champion that wants to be in the side lane and wants to create pressure from there. Someone like a Zed or an Echo would want to split push rather than stay mid lane, and by you going mid, you unlock their ability to participate in the side lanes and pressure the map better. The third reason why you go mid lane is the harder reason, and that's to dive mid lane. This is, has a lot of risk entailed with the maneuver, however, it's an effective strategy if you're able to pull it off. So how do you counter the mid rotation? One of the biggest problems about the mid rotation is that there's a lot of gank paths mid lane. Too many gank paths actually to where you can't cover them effectively with vision. And so if you're the team that's getting sieged upon mid lane by multiple members, if you're able to find a gank path through an opening where they don't have vision, you can easily turn their lead into your lead. Also, if you have a wave clear mid lane, it's impossible for the enemy team to siege without diving, effectively allowing your team to catch back up. Lastly, let's talk about the top lane rotation. The top lane rotation is the most common rotation for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, there's less wave clear top lane for the most part. Secondly, it's really hard for people to be able to gank top lane as opposed to mid lane. Mid lane has angles through the left and right side of mid. However, top lane, similar to any side lane, only really has one angle of approach. And that angle of approach can be easily awarded Although the top lane is one of the most common rotations, it's also one of the rotations that can be messed up the easiest as well. Once you have a lead, the jungler is smart enough to play around your lane and be able to force the first tower to be down by pressuring your lane non-stop throughout the laning phase. So assuming your jungler spends the first 10 minutes on the bot side, where is the enemy jungler going to spend if their bot lane is losing? Probably on the top side. So when you switch lanes into the top lane, you're switching your strongest lane into their strongest lane. If you ever try to 2v2 the enemy top laner and the jungler, you could lose, which could thereby throw away your, your early game lead. So how do you counter this top lane rotation? If you're the team getting rotated on, you already have control of the top side due to the reasons that I already said before. Because of this, well, your job is to find a way to be able to catch them as they're coming into your side of pressure. When their support order AD walks up, and if their enemy jungler isn't walking up with them, you can take and force a early 2v2 before the other jungler gets there. You can quickly swing the game back into your favor. A lot of the rotations top lane rely on you waiting for your jungler to be able to reduce risk for your team. Now what happens if the jungler can't make it, or if you're in a situation where it's very hard for you to siege on either of the respective lanes? Maybe because the game is very, very close. What do you do? Well, that's what Rift Herald is for. If you can take the reduction in tempo by leaving the lanes to get Rift Herald, or you need Rift Herald to open the game for you. It's a very good objective for you to go for. Thanks for watching this episode of Predator Gaming's Training Room about bot lane leads. Hope you guys learned a lot. I'll see you guys next time.